Hello everyone. Come to you uh, today to remember our fallen brother, Adder Wayne Jones Brownlow, Plymouth, Plymouth Argyle Green Army, TCE, Central Element Firm, Effort Boot Boys, my brother, miss you. He passed away recently. I made a video about him before in the Legends of Football Hooliganism series of mine. I'll do more. I do want to do better ones. Give him and other lads a proper honor they deserve. And, uh, you know, Adder Wayne was a, more than just a football hooligan. You know, there's much more to somebody than that. And I got to know the person and we became close in the beginning straight away in 2019 when I moved over. And uh, I regard him as one of my closest friends you know, that I met in UK and for my people back home. I've made a video about him. He reminded me of Skinner T, who passed away, who's my closest, one of my closest friends ever. We both uh, created Skinhead Hip Hop together. Ryan Taylor, Skinner T. Not to be confused with Ryan Taylor from Plymouth. But, uh, you know, and, and Ryan Taylor from Plymouth has told me some, you know, right tales and, you know, hear different things from different people. And uh, I choose to celebrate out of his life. And I'm never going to stop talking about him. And uh, I'm bringing his spirit in with me to the ring when I step in the ring on July 21st, Clapham Grand. And uh, I'll go more into it because it's a bigger tale of life and death and God and Jesus and spirituality and the philosophical questions of life. Is there life after death? The nature, is there a spirit? Is there something that exists pre and post? I believe in these things. Don't have a conventional belief. My view is more shaped by esoterica, so to speak. But uh, I will say this, for Adder's family and that, and maybe you don't, whether you believe in these things or not, you know, last year when I was in Plymouth, he came out to see me. And uh, he, hadn't, he hadn't really been out. He told me I hadn't been going to pubs and that. And uh, we're sat in the pub and we're having a good old time. He introduced me, Royal Navy lad, and I got on with him. And Steph was there, my brother Stephen Adamson. And uh, at some point, Adam told him, he says, mate. And he had to, like, like he was saying, his, he started saying like his goodbyes to me. He says, he said, mate, I'm dying. I'm like, what? I'm like, oh, what are you on about? Like, you know, this is in the pub and we're hanging out. And he says, mate, I'm dying. Da -da 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 -da. I'm like, I'm like, no, bro, don't say that. I'm like, what do you mean? He looked fine to me. Like, da, 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 like, like, you know, he started to get, you know, started to, like, saying goodbyes to me. I'm like, huh? I'm like, what do you mean, bro? Did I? And he didn't ex exactly tell me everything what it was. But, uh, man, I start, I burst into tears. If I think about it too hard, I will right now. But uh, I started crying, and, uh, and and before, this is a longer tale. I was about Christianity. I had to do his back problem before, in 2019, and I asked him to go to church with me and everything. So there's more of a tale there, and I had went to church, and he said, Ugh. He, I mean, we talked about it though. We talked about it, and he had a bit of an agnostic perspective at at the uh, in the end, which is to say that he wasn't naysaying. At initially, he was very resistant to the conversation, and then he saw it. He's like, I see it did something to you. He's like, something happened. Like, so we I, we kind of brought. And I was talking about his back and about praying for healing from for Jesus and and everything. And then uh, that night, this is yes, you know, last year, two thousand twenty three, when I was in Plymouth. Uh, and then he told me that, that he was going to die, and that he was dying. And, uh, and I started crying. I said, brother, you know, get down on your knees right now and pray with me. And I pray with him to Jesus and stuff. So I like to think that, uh, you know, that he's in God's hands now and everything. So rest in peace, Adam.